Peace be to you all, Omar here. Uh, today is oh, Wednesday. It's about uh, almost eight o'clock, quarter to eight. I'm just finishing a very slow paced 5K run. God, I've gotten so slow, bro. I'm trying to get it back. Lord will it, inshallah. So, uh, I wanted to talk to you guys about, about uh, running in cold weather. So at DC, the weather is supposedly, um, it's about 30 degrees, but it, it, it feels like it's in the 20s because of the wind chill factor and all that. Uh, so I dress in layers and uh, so I've got about uh, three la light layers on here. It's got like this thermal top. Um, and even my gloves because I don't like cold hands. And you may even want to use some hand warmers. Uh, if you're particularly uh, subject <laughs> to uh, your hands being cold, like I really hate that. So sometimes I put hand warmers in my gloves. And also, because it gets dark, you know, it's early in the morning. It's dark until like seven, seven fifteen. So I'm washing. I'm in Washington D.C. Very busy traffic around that time. And then even in the evening, it gets dark around four thirty. So. People might not see you. Everybody's texting. Well, a lot of people. So you're texting whilst driving. So they're not even looking at the road. So you want to try to make yourself as visible as possible. I see people running in a lot of dark colors. And as cold as that may look, people can't see you. So I got a reflective vest, you know, bright orange top. And uh, I, I got a light. I got to get this, uh, the battery fixed up. But I got a little blinker light that goes on the reflective vest. So that's it for now. Layers for cold weather. Be highly reflective and visible and dark. Okay, I wish you guys the best of success in your positive endeavors. If you want to be a PA, physician assistant, or health educator like me, uh, feel free to subscribe and contact me via the uh, my email. Take care. Peace.